Have you seen the commercials for Best Buy's electronics trade-in program? Well, sounds like a great deal until you read the fine print. Keith King and Call for Action show the pros and cons of trading in your gadgets. Hey, Keith. Hi, Elizabeth and Mark. Now that uh, many people are upgrading their cell phones and laptops almost every year, the question constantly comes up, what do you do with the old one? The good news is that more and more stores take them in as trade-ins, but with some places, there's a catch. Remember that cool flip phone you used to have? Electronics are advancing so rapidly, most of us are now holding old phones and gadgets we no longer need. Enter Best Buy's new buyback plan, where it will give you up to 50% when you trade in a cell phone, TV, or laptop. Other retailers now offer similar plans. Radio Shack offers a limited trade-in program. GameStop takes in used games and consoles. And Gazelle is an online buyback plan. But there's a catch with some of these programs. You have to pay an average of $50 to sign up for Best Buy's trade-in plan. Plus, you get payment via a Best Buy gift card. A fact that may have you shop around before trying to trade in your used gizmos. And, of course, for the most money, you can sell your old gear online, but that takes time and effort. You have to collect the money, ship the item, and possibly deal with unhappy customers. The trade-in programs, at least, offer you up some convenience.